car is a beeper. It's a nice wheelbarrow. Yeah, if you want a tie or a belt, you take one. Oh. Um, could you help me bring that up? Yes, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. It's a nice little Nikon you have there. So I got two cameras here. This one's digital. Oh, okay. And this one's the film. The oh, okay. Film. What were you asking on the digital? What do you make me an offer? I have no idea. What do you huh? We're going to move the table out. The other okay. table that's over there yet. I'd go 50 on the digital. It's 50 a, on? That, that's a deal. How much for the other one also? Um, the film one? 25. So 75 for both? Yeah. I'll do 75 for both. That'll work. Look at this chair. That's a nice chair. I need ones with wheels. Oh. Um, yeah. I could just swivel it. It's a good chair. It'll sell. Especially for five dollars. That's yeah. Such a good deal. I know. Now that I know. That's what? why I said. Oh man. I don't. Take a seat. <laughs> How's it feel? Oh, looks like you like it. It's not too bad. I was sitting in it last night. Five bucks can't just go wrong buying a chair for five dollars nowadays. Like you can. All right, you have five dollars on me. Yeah. Right. yeah. This video is gonna be that. Your style. <laughs> For the boots, they um, $15 each. $15 each. Yeah, I have a niece that she would, she really likes. I um, clean the house and he's really getting rid of all this stuff. Like, I know those boots right there, he paid a thousand dollars for. I know that was a thousand dollars. I was like, if I knew somebody, I don't care. I was like, I sold them for 15 and he was like, you know, you can put it in a consignment shop. I was like, no. <laughs> Nah. But yeah, they're they're good. Yeah. Like those I think came from Italy. What is that? I owe you five dollars for this. Good morning. I'm still in need of a Ryobi one. How much is that? That's not bad. Yeah, for dog beds. Dog beds are expensive. I'm just trying to get rid of yeah, stuff like Man, I, you know, I want it 50, but I'll do 25 if you want the whole thing. I just want to get rid of that. I mean, it's worth a hundred and some dollars. Where would you like me to put this? It was on the bed. I don't want to just put it on the bed. Oh, there you go. Okay, sorry. sorry. Yeah, she's out of take it. How much you want for the big DeWalt? Uh, whatever, a hundred, I want it. 
I'll tell you what, you hang a deal, I'll do both fifty. It's two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Yeah, I'll do uh both for fifty. That'll work. That's a nice heat gun. Put that thing. You can have it. I can have it? Yeah, you can take it. Oh with thanks. Done. That's great. You, got several <laughs> you always need a good heat gun. Yeah, I just got a new one. He threw the heat gun in for free. All right, back from the RTS, let's go ahead and start going over things. Let's really go over the biggest flop of the day, and this is going to be the cameras. If you know camera gear, you probably saw right away like I was overpaying for this stuff. I don't know camera gear that well. I try to learn. I try to pick up Canon, Nikon, and other names like that that I know at yard sales for a reasonable price. I thought that was reasonable. I thought I could probably triple my money. Definitely can't triple my money, but probably can double it. Uh, the N6006, not really worth anything. This is in really good condition though. Not worth a whole bunch. Where it comes into play here is going to be the lenses. The lenses are worth like 80, 60, and 50, I believe. And this one right here is a Nikon D80. Not that expensive. This body goes for only like 44 bucks free shipping. So uh, it does have the strap with it, which is um, probably worth like five bucks. And then it did come with all the manuals, which is very nice, but not a good buy when it came to the camera gear. Now let's talk about some really good buys. Let's go over here real quick. This is an AC tester. And I don't know anything about AC testers, but I can tell you this, that a lot of testers that are decent looking and feel like they're quality, uh, they're worth some money. And this right here is worth $89.99 if it works. I have to go ahead and give it a little test. I'll go up in my AC unit and connect some stuff together and see if the lights go off or something. But uh, we'll make sure this thing works properly. I seriously doubt that's what I, it's how I'm gonna test it, but we'll make sure it works out for five bucks. Can't go wrong with $90. Then these tools right here, now I know DeWalt, I know Milwaukee, and I didn't know, surprisingly, this is worth a ton of money. But this right here, really nice saws all, heavy duty. I actually like it a lot because this right here detaches. The cord, the, all, all the ones I've ever owned had the cord that went in there and it always mess up. So it's very nice, it detaches. And uh, this right here, I paid like $25 for this, goes for about 60 bucks plus shipping. The DeWalt, this is a monster. Uh, this is one that I might keep. I don't really know 100%. It's just a really good thing to have around if you work on automotive things because this right here will take anything off. It's a big old impact. And this goes for, again, probably, this is a DW292 half-inch impact wrench. This thing's a monster. This goes probably for about 60 to 70 bucks uh, plus shipping. It's very heavy, so the shipping is going to be expensive. But stuff like this, I usually will send in a medium flat rate or large flat rate box, so I know exactly how much it is. And then I'll do like free shipping on it and just up the price so people, you know what I'm saying? So you include that amount of money in your shipping. So let's go over to this thing. This is the biggest surprise of the day. I actually needed a heat gun for, you know, just around the house and, you know, when you're getting little labels off or we're working on the boat or the truck or whatever. And I don't have a heat gun, so I've been in the market of it. But this one I'll probably sell and just go buy me like a, a cheap one at Harbor Freight. This is actually a Milwaukee heat gun and it has the number on the back of it right here is a uh, model 750 and to my surprise this has got to be i don't know how expensive heat guns are but i've never seen one this expensive there's one pre-owned listed for like a hundred dollars but they sell consistently for like 60 to 70 dollars for a heat gun so that's really good and he threw that in for free so basically uh i'm gonna make profit on this and this and this is profit so that is i mean to me that's just amazing all right, let's go to the whiteboard. So we spent a whopping $130 on everything, and a lot of that was definitely going to be the mess up on the cameras. But live and learn, double your money, and know for next time. Potential profit, $484 in sales. Not too bad. Lots got to come out of that, though. After fees, I take 20%. eBay doesn't, but that's just in case, you know, like I promote or do whatever. $387 left. The net, you have to go ahead and take what you spent out of that, which was the $130. And the net equals... $257, easy amount of work here. You have to admit, not a lot of, seriously not a lot of listing here. There's like five things to list and the cameras are easy to test and the lenses are easy. And I'm gonna actually, if I didn't say this, I'm separating all this because 
to be honest with you, these really aren't a lot worth a lot and these are worth a lot. So all that will be actually done separately. And this and this and this super easy list take me like 20 minutes. And then that thing right there, I'll figure out how to test that. But I'm gonna say six hours of total work and I think I'm overshooting it. But if, even if it does take me six hours, that is $42.80 an hour. And that's a smiley face. So it's everything I bought today to be a full-time eBay reseller. And that's exactly what I do. I go places, buy stuff low, and sell for market value on eBay. I do appreciate everybody that's been watching. I cannot believe that guy gave me that heat gun for free. Uh, I was actually looking for one, like I said, but seriously, I'm gonna have to sell a $75 heat gun and then go buy me like a $20 one. I don't need that, that fancy one right there. But I'm definitely, also when you get in conversations with people, I've learned you're talking to them and stuff like that, and they, they tend to give you stuff at yard sales. So it's always a good tip there, is if you have the time, and a lot of times in the beginning, you don't have the time. If you're a hustler and you're going around yard sales, there is no conversation. That's what is with me. I'm moving it in the first like hour or two. But after that, I usually loosen up and spend more time at the yard sales, talk to people, and really it does pay off. I do appreciate everybody that watches. If you're not subscribed, remember, if you would subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.